Welcome Virgo. We are going, I don't know why it's just said that like that, like Virgo. Uh, anyway, Virgo, we are going to be uh, doing a bit of an inquiry into your soul and what it wants you to know right now using the work your light oracle cards, the inquiry cards specifically out of that deck. Also mystical healing reading cards and Osho Zen as well. Let's get into it then. Okay, Virgo. One card for Virgo, please. One card for Virgo. Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? Who or what is triggering you? This is the thing, right? When we get triggered, it really is about um, what is going on inside for us. So this is very important to be looking at what is being reflected from yourself, which can be really hard to, to look at, okay, because it doesn't mean that everything's your fault, but it's just looking at why is it triggering you? and um, what is going on for you but let's mo look more into it and I'm sure at the end when we read the meaning of it it will give us more insight okay so three cards yep that one didn't come out right but these two did one more card the mirror so there you go please more card for mirror for Virgo. There it is. Alrighty. Yeah, see whatever is going on around us is really just a reflection of um of what's going on inside of us. Okay. Um this first card here is you have support. And I just wonder if someone not someone some of you aren't seeing that it's sort of like um taking the mask off uh to see things clearly but still having the blindfold on there and i'm also drawn to the wing on the head here something's not in the right place Is something out of place. Let's look further into this. Tell me more about you have support for Virgo, please. I, I feel like some of you may feel like you have to do everything on your own. Um, Cards for you have support. Okay, let's have a look at this here for you. So it's really interesting. There's something, it's really interesting because there's something hidden. There's something hidden, maybe that you're hiding. Not hiding, maybe necessarily, but suppressing, potentially. Oh, okay, look, look, look at these cards here, look. Maybe you're concerned someone around you is hiding something. But again, see, this is taking this mask off again. Right? Are you afraid of what will be revealed underneath the mask? Is that a possibility here? There's a new beginning here, though. I wonder if the mask needs to be taken off so that whatever needs to come out can. Something needs to be revealed. But I just wonder if you don't want to see it. And how is this relating to who or what is triggering you? Oh, is someone triggering you? which is forcing this mask off, maybe. 
And when I talk about, um, you know, there's something that you don't want to be revealed, it doesn't necessarily mean something sneaky and, you know, or whatever. Um, it can mean just um, pain, old pain, um, or, or things that haven't been dealt with. What are these cards anyway? Okay. See, there's a really, really um, cool new beginning here. But for some reason, what is it? What is it, Virgo, that you don't want to face it? There's something stopping you. There is something stopping you. <clears throat> and maybe it's the new beginning that is triggering you, you know. It's causing you to have to look at things that you, oh, maybe not, it's not that you don't want to look at them, but they're kind of coming up and it's like they're in your face and it's like, whoa, I didn't expect that to happen. Um, but what I do want to say is to remember that you do have support because we've got the celebration card here of friends, um, you know, having fun with one another, but it really is representative of the support that you have. Okay, and so... Um, I think it's really important for you to allow yourself to look at what it is that you don't want to face, okay? Be aware, be aware, okay? Be conscious of, um, be conscious of the new beginning that is available to you when you allow these things up and out when you actually allow yourself to look in the mirror okay rather than just pointing the finger look at who is in the mirror in front of you because at the end of the day that is the most important person in your life so if there are lots of things that are triggering you try not to get into this blame game type of thing Make sure you look within, okay? Yeah, because you see, this is going to allow you to break the chains. Some of you may be wanting to move super fast into a new beginning because you want to sort of escape what it is that is um, causing these triggers, but that's not going to work for you. You need to slow down. You need to take it step by step and be conscious and aware of this journey towards this new beginning because otherwise there may be things that are missed that aren't um, addressed and you don't want them to impact this new beginning here okay we have stop breaking agreements see again with the blindfold already right this is the sense of wanting to rush away. The sense of wanting to go fast. And we've got these chains here. We've got these chains. It says stop breaking agreements, but I feel like there's something that you need to be unleashed from. Or, or to let go, you know, to let go of. Is this an agreement with yourself, potentially? Let's look further into this more. Tell me more about stop breaking agreements, please, for Virgo. Yeah, there's something, Virgo, that I feel like you're getting tied in knots about. Just as soon as I said that, all the cards went splat. But we've got quite a few cards here, so let's have a look. Okay. Okay. I'll just chuck those over there. Hmm. 
Um, we've got these two cards that have come out first. And this is sort of going into this hermit mode to go within, to come into this harmony state, this harmonious state before moving forward. And potentially this could be what the slowing card, the slowing down card is about. Is about you taking your time rather than wanting to rush either away from something or into something. So that you can take the time to stop and look in the mirror and see what it is that you need to work on. Because it's kind of like, it's, it's sort of like here Virgo, trying to move forward, but the mirror is there. And you it, it looks as though um, it's, it's an open door, but every time you go to walk through it, you realise, oh, it's a mirror, I can't walk through there. And then there's this sort of uh, distraction, I suppose, going on around you. And then you go, oh, I'll go this way. And you go to go forward and then you bang into the mirror again. And that's symbolic of these triggers not being dealt with. It's almost like there's this sort of repetitive pattern happening throughout your life where you've always tried to go forward. And it's like you slam up against these, these things that are being mirrored to you. And it just, it's, it's sort of as simple as being faced. You, know, you just need to face them. And I'm not saying that's easy, but that's the solution, I feel. Right? We have the dream and we have integration here. This is, this is you holding this dream in your heart here, Leo. Uh, Leo, I just called you Leo. Why did I, maybe you're dealing with Leo. You might have Leo in your chart. Interesting. But don't worry, your energy is definitely infused into these cards here, Virgo. Um, maybe you need to go and watch that Leo video sure they had this card in there and I'm sure this card was in here too so there could be some connection for you but anyhow uh what I what what what, what was coming through here was about holding this dream in your heart and really feeling it knowing that you have everything within you to create what it is that you want to create okay going into your heart to drop the fear because I feel like there's some sort of fear here. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, because we have this card here. We have this isolation. There's been sort of this um, opening up the heart to a certain point but then stopping that out of fear. So having the courage to grow, having the courage to grow even though um, you may kind of put yourself in a, not in a situation, but you kind of put yourself sometimes in between this crack. It's like being between a rock and a hard place for some of you. You feel like you're, you're between a rock and a hard place. But what the rock is, or the hard place is, is this ice that you've put around yourself once upon a time to protect yourself. And the only way to mount it now is to allow it out. There's no other way. You need to release and let go. It's sort of like you you place the ice around you and you're the only one that can mount it. Nothing else and no one else can do that for you. It's up to you. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. The next card here is focus on higher truths. And this is something that will, you know, um, give you give you the support that you feel that you're lacking in your life. 
okay? Higher truths. Coming beyond the ego. Not allowing the ego to, to rule you. Allowing your heart to rule you. And by going into the heart here, this will allow you to tap into this inner knowing, right? Into this harmony. It will bring you to that place where you can lead from um, a place which is not um, fearful, which is not broken, which is confident and sure with a sense of knowingness. Yeah. And I'm just noticing for up here for some reason there's the S and the ink. I'm not sure why that's jumping out at me, but it may be relevant for some of you. <clears throat> the mask, it's the mask. See here, look, the mask is coming off. And the uh, yeah, radio. The mask is coming off and you're afraid that if the mask comes off that is going to reveal something um, that people may not like about you. Something that even you don't want to see. But the thing is that that's, that's just your ego, which everybody has. Everybody has that ego, ego, right? But what is the truth that is underneath is this higher truth. Right? This is what is here in this heart space, is this higher truth. So it's kind of like this is just a bit of trickery and potentially of your mind. It's tricking you. So it's time to grow beyond that and step into this higher truth now. Right? Where you can go into the silence to access this consciousness here, right? And live from a conscious place rather than by default. Okay, so I don't like how those came out. Okay, focus on higher truths. Let's look further into this. There's something about time. What's this about time as well? I don't know. Divine timing. Any more cards? Just trying to remember the order these come out in. Let me just pick these up. Okay, so we have here trust. Trust. See, I see we've also got exhaustion here too, right? So look at the difference between these two cards here, right? You've got all this sort of mess go going on, trying to piece together everything and hold it all together, and it's become incredibly exhausting. And um, and then there's this card here where it's just clear, and, and it's just a matter of spreading your wings, in a sense, and allowing yourself to fly rather than bogging yourself down with all the nitty gritty details, right? Really letting go. Um, yeah, we have we have this high um sorry possibilities here. So seeing things from another perspective, making the choice to rise above anything that may be getting to you. These triggers rising above them and see where they're coming from, right? Nurturing them, being honest with yourself about them, um, allowing them to be rather than trying to push them down and pretend like they're not there because that hasn't happened. Uh, that, oh, sorry, that hasn't worked. Um, and, and it's sort of like it's led to this, okay? And so I feel like it really is a matter of you addressing and looking at what it is that is coming up for you as it arises, okay? And then you won't have, the, have to carry the burden of this anymore because um, it's, it's calling at you loud and clear. It's really hammering you. 
and um, and I don't really feel like you're at the point anymore where you can actually ignore it because um, it's just it's it's becoming too much right so this last card here about turning in you know this is to to really start to um, find a way whatever works for you be it yoga meditation um, you know some sort of mind body connection to to help you bring about this harmonious state that I know that you crave because it is there for you it's just getting back into um, the awareness of the consciousness that surrounds you the awareness of the consciousness that you are okay there you go because once you actually do that you're going to wonder why you didn't do that from the word dot okay so let's have a look at this mirror here all righty <clears throat> Okay, so let's do this. Who or what is triggering you? The filter of our own experience is how we experience life 90% of the time. Through our own projections, when someone... Rem oh, sorry, through our own projections. Full stop. When someone reminds us of an unhealed experienced experience, we get triggered. Often... It's an unconscious thing. People in situations can trigger our mirrors to reflect back to us what we believe to be true about life, the universe, and ourselves. Mirrors pointing to our shadow and our light. Mm, I love that. Mirrors revealing the parts of us that are yet to be accepted, witnessed, or loved. This card is guiding you to look closely at what experiences or people are currently triggering you, triggering in you, and what they could be mirroring back to you. When have you felt like this before? Could they be opportunities to heal something in you? Or are they shining a light on something that longs to be witnessed in you? Love it. This goes for the good and the bad. The good, those who we admire and put on a pedestal. If we do not realise that we are attracted to them because we are like them, we will need to cut them down in order to rise to their level. The bad, those we despise, are envious of and put down. If we do not realise that they trigger something in us, then it is still yet to be healed. And we will remain hurt and wounded ourselves. So true. So work your light inquiry. Ask yourself, who or what is triggering you? What is it in you that they are triggering? What part of you longs to be witnessed there's some pretty deep questions to go over so yeah that's that's awesome I think that's a really good thing to work out on um, for yourself Leo so that you can actually start to start to dig away at this you know to get to the place that you truly want to be at okay Virgo I'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye